Now on to completing an Excel document that will calculate the average age of the employees using average formulas and shading cells. So once again, we're going to go to the Start menu, open up an Excel document, maximize the view, and this time we're going to save as E-4 Employee Average Age. Okay, so what we're going to begin with here is formatting the widths of the columns again. So A and B, we want to call, make those widths home format column width both of them to 25. Click OK. For column C, we're going to make that column width 15. Then we're going to key in the data from E4-1 into the spreadsheet. And everything should be Arial 10 point unless otherwise noted. So. Once again, we're going to type in Arial. Whoops, first let's select the whole spreadsheet. Arial, enter, and change this to 10, enter. And then go to page 66 in your book and copy in the table. Okay, so we have everything typed in now. And we're going to change the font size in cell A1 through C1 to 12 points. So we're going to highlight everything in A1 through C1. I want to change that to 12. We also want to center align the cells and bold them. Then we're also going to shade the cells A1 to C1 using a 25% gray fill color. So we want to go over to fill and we're going to choose the 25% gray right there. In the form, we're now going to enter a formula into C21. So we're going to go to C21 and the way that you start entering a formula is always to hit an equal sign in Excel. So once we've hit the equal sign, that tells Excel to start a formula. We want to do an average. And you have to tell it which numbers to go through. So we're going to start with C2. And we want it to go through C2. 20. Sorry, we're using a colon to say through capital C 20 and she will highlight the area, close the parentheses and hit enter. Now we have an average. Okay, so C2 two through 21, we also want to make sure that they are center aligned and we want to tell it to have only two decimals displaying. So we're going to go over here, increase the decimal to two. Then we move over to B21 and we want to make this right align and bold. Format C21 also as bold. Create a custom header and key the text provided below as the header and center align the header and set the font to Arial 14 bold. So we want to insert
and we're going to select all three here and we're going to say merge and center and then type in the header skateboards ink average age of employees we want to make it an aerial 14 and bold let's try that again highlight aerial 14 bold let's increase the height of this cell by double clicking right there carefully proofread your work make sure that everything is correct then we're going to click save one more time and now you share this document with Mrs. Brown on the classroom.google.com.